who, what was your wrestling persona? What were you going to be? Um, my wrestling persona was Brian Ryan, the male model. Okay. I was this cocky, arrogant, like good looking kid who <laughs> would use that against himself to get popularity. Right. So, they hate yeah. you because you're too pretty. Yeah. See, so and I was a good wrestler. Like I was really good. So you were trying to be like, uh, like a, you were trying to be heel. Essentially. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, like I started off as a face and then like I, I, I worked my way into a heel. Isn't that how it like there should be like a natural progression from like face to heel? Because you got to yeah. go somewhere. What, like It's like gay porn. When you start out, you can't yeah. be doing what you want. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be bottom. You got to work bottom. your way up. <laughs> up to the top. You literally up to the top. You got to do a few yeah. trannies before you yeah, that's right. really started hot. from the bottom. Now yeah. we're here. That's about pornography. <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, wait, was, uh, I don't know shit about wrestling was, uh, like, but this is like what little I remember because I've like hung around with kids that were into wrestling when I was growing up. But the, so like when Steve Austin went into like, like the whole NWO, uh, like arc were those guys heels. Okay. Steve Austin was in WWF and NWO was a WCW. Listen, thing. buddy, I, <laughs> I started off saying I wasn't into this gay shit. <laughs> So I, well, I, I was into this gay shit. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, don't fucking correct me all fucking. <laughs> okay. Like we're Go like, on. Yeah. All right. Uh, ridicule. Ridicule. Pro listen, wrestling, do you want me right. to mock you when you don't know who Ralph Nader is in 25 minutes? No. Ridicule all the you rednecks wanna... <laughs> that are hearing this right now who watch pro wrestling r- religiously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, so, so what, but was the NWO uh, a heel organization? Were they supposed to be hated or were they supposed to be like, the underdogs that that we all like they were supposed to be like out of the norm they were supposed to be like the punk rockers of the scene okay. and, and wcw was like you know the pop punk of i mean the pop 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 of the yeah, okay of that scene so like they started off as this band of misfits that were against that and then they eventually split up into another faction of nwo black and red and that's a whole new can of fucking worms that i, I don't want to okay. get into but yeah. Well, you remember when the World Wildlife Foundation sued <laughs> oh, WWF? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if the New World Order sued <laughs> if George Soros <laughs> sued the w- WCW <laughs> or what was it? Which one was it? Uh, WWF. WWF. That w- was what NWO was on. No, no, no. WCW. It was WCW. Okay, yeah. all right. that was right. You don't See, got I'm me confused. Shit. <laughs> I'm more, it's a lot you of. You do fucking... not want to step on the Illuminati brand. They're going to come <laughs> yeah, for those guys. Yeah. But that's long gone now. That's like old school, right? Yeah, it's 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 it's. Past. That's why I don't remember. It's <laughs> fun. They're like all this is like twenty five years ago. Or so, it's probably around there. Like yeah. it was a fucking long time. Wrestling's ago. changed a lot too, man. It's not like how it was back in the like eighties, you know, smoggy, cigar filled rooms. You know, with you know, yeah, middle aged men mainly, and, and fat. Now there's more fat young younger boys. kids and families like women I, that's what attracted to me to the wrestling because of the women was like all these moms are always coming up to me that was a cool part of it what <laughs> were you were you doing backyard stuff were you yeah well just like comedy you do it wherever the hell it's available in a backyard i did it at the beach one time i did it like inside venues a bingo hall like so many different spots a fucking uh a, a place where they put cattle I did it in there. <laughs> like a cattle yard? Yeah, like a fucking... Fuck. Did like a stock show? Stock show, yeah. Dude, stock. dude the, the, <laughs> we were the cattle I'm going to be fucking night. so sad the first time I have to do a comedy show at a fucking cattle yard. Yeah. <laughs> it was like an auctioneer behind me. <laughs> I did it at a Juneteenth rally uh, one time. <laughs> like the sorry. rodeo clown <laughs> after the guy gets tossed off the bull comes out there and does a tight five. Yeah. <laughs> Doing like yeah, he's hosting. a balloon and he's juggling. A, does everything in mime. And then he doesn't even bring you up by name. He just fucking. <laughs> Do y'all know what yeah. Juneteenth is? It's like an all black uh, yeah. thing. Uh, my my uh, It's a weird event to have wrestling at. My brother got pegged with nickels while he was wrestling by this one kid. And then this one kid punched me in the back of the head. So I was walking into the ring. <laughs> I can't Fuck. do nothing about it because he's like 12. And, but he hit like a fucking 19 year old. I'll tell you that much. It stunned me a little bit. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> he hit like a 19 year old. Yeah. Yeah. 
He was like seven years above his They got that level. extra tendon or something, you know? That's what they say. <laughs> it's <laughs> a fast, fast twitch. The quick uh, twitch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, they develop it at a young age. It's a lot faster than any other race, I believe. That's, that's, a, that's the story. Yeah. Like, I don't know who threw that nickel, but I know what color he was. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sounds like nickel. <laughs> So uh, when you do this type of shit, uh, you just show up at a beach and uh, in your getup, and you're gonna wrestle somebody. Do you like rehearse with the dude beforehand, or you might just be wrestling somebody? Sometimes, sometimes. So sometimes it was just uh, impromptu. Yeah, sometimes like you got there early at the venue, and the guy you're wrestling shows up late, and like you got like two minutes to work something out. Oh shit! So you got to just improvise, and that's where like the training comes in. Like, oh, okay, I know how to wrestle. I, I could just improvise. Right. So that's how it works out sometimes. So, like, do you, so you're, are you like improvising around each other's persona? Is that like, like the idea that you're like, he's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a, you know, uh, what, I'm a like Australian, you, like, usually the same person, usually the bad whatever guy, the, usually the heel will lead the rodeo. Like, he'll be like, hey, I'm going to fucking like talk shit while he's got in a headlock or something. He's going to be like, hey, I'm going to throw you out the ring and I'm going to gloat. And then you're going to like distract. Oh, I'm going to get distracted and you're going to pull me out from under. You know, I'm going to fall and you're going to pull me out kind of shit. You know, they can work stuff like that uh, in the middle of the ring while the match is going on. That's fucking tight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, so, he, he's telling you, he's like, all right, we're, I'm going to do this and then come fucking like drop me, like pull yeah. me, pull my feet out from under me. Because usually like the face is just going to get pulverized most of the match. And then he and then, has a big comeback and then he wins. Exactly. Everybody's yeah, yeah. happy and shit. Right. But I mean like individual choreography, like if you don't know the, oh, what yeah. the other guy knows how to do and you try to, you know, suplex him or whatever and he's not ready for that. Oh, yeah. There's certain moves that like you have to have trained together to like do like yeah. stuff like catching a guy, choke slam somebody. falling outside, doing a front flip, you, somersault onto a guy outside. You have to trust those people for sure. Like, So you must have like a catalog <laughs> in your mind of like – basic bitch moves that you're like i know that any any anybody at all knows how to like do the like yeah like a low blow move while the ref's not looking that's a bitch move that the crowd will feed on that hate you Mm -hmm. so that's well no i mean by by basic bitch i mean like like that like just low bar moves that don't require the complex that don't have the complexity well you know like like, i wish i knew that back then because like i was the guy that would see all the athleticism and shit and be like oh i gotta mimic like ray mysterio or any of these high flyer guys but like the best thing to do was just to like wrestle like hulk hogan yeah yeah. just fucking do a little of this just focus on your pump (laughs) you know don't do a lot of like spots where you gotta fly (laughs) off the fucking rope and like risk breaking your neck or something you know yeah just invest in some fur yeah just a nice like leotard you know sequence robe. what i always found like i was always impressed by the acrobatics and the you know if a ddt or whatever but like um the punches where they just stomp oh, they the ground. Yeah. Like it just beca- they wouldn't even try to make them look yeah. realistic at a certain point where yeah. it was just like, why even bother doing those? <laughs> I remember I got in a fight with, I mean, uh, my uh, teacher got in a fight with some guys at, at after the show because they were talking shit to him or something. And like he threw a punch and he, and he stomped when he threw the punch. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we all like laughed at Because <laughs> he was fake punching the guy. He's trying to really punch. And he caught himself, and he's like, oh, what am I, what am I doing? I'm not right. supposed to punch like that. <laughs> what it, so have you, like, have you met, like, older heads, like the old guys that have been oh, doing yeah. it, like, that are not known by anybody? Like, oh, like yeah. in the way that, like, we would, like, like meet, like, road dogs that, yeah. that like, kind of nobody knows about. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. There was a guy named Tarzan Taylor. He'd been doing it for, like, 40 <laughs> years. God damn, I love it. And, like, he would <laughs> – he was a black dude – who like older black gentleman who would <laughs> use racism to get he would was call, he so he's a heel yeah all the okay. time every time he'd just be like he'd do, do the swimming motions to like all the Mexicans in the crowd <laughs> that's fucking great dude he come out with a spray can of Lysol and spray it in the air and shit he's like it smells like beans in here and oh. <laughs> That's great, dude. They got a fucking but, but hey, man, they loved it, dude. They kept coming back. We had like two hundred, three hundred people a month you know show up 
So no, you're telling it bad. like you're telling a story <laughs> that people people like, like want to hear. They you know they're uh, yeah you're playing on people like the uh, Mexicans and African Americans don't get along. Yeah, you know what I mean. A lot oh, of the yeah. time, yeah. So it's yeah, let's uh, monetize it. Let's monetize yes, that exactly. It's, it's really, it's like, dude, it's like fucking set up a cottage industry around other. I mean, that's that's capitalism. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. <laughs> so and that guy's making a living. So you're fucking. So uh, like, dude, uh, uh, like a few podcasts ago, uh, when Josh Grambo was on, we were he, like talking about this, and he was like. You know, we, it's like none of us would have suspected that uh, that like if we take bees out of the environment, that the entire ecosystem will collapse. Yeah. Like none of us could could have predicted that. And he was like, "So what happens if we take all the racists out?" It's like we don't really know. And but now we know. It's like now that older black gentleman who has made an entire career here, uh, out on his ass, like yeah. just doesn't get it. like racism is uh, like, and I'm not. Not supporting this as much anymore because of yeah. that. People are like, <laughs> people are like, well, the fucking tar, yeah, Tarzan Taylor ain't and now now he's now he's fucked, you know. So you you've well, def- case in point, <laughs> since they got Harvey Weinstein, have not been any good movies. Oh yeah, no, Miramax, not one. Miramax was not a great. Single movie. So, like separate the art from the artist. Dude. Apparently, you need that type of pressure from a producer to get some hot young talent to fucking perform <laughs> on on the screen <laughs> <laughs> something about jerking off into a ficus <laughs> just really it's that's part of the gets recipe the, gets the artistic juices flowing <laughs> i had like a movie idea that like uh involved weed and like coming onto a weed plant and like thinking nothing of it and then the nugs end up being like children like like half bred you know real life weird <laughs> This is my idea that I'm pitching uh, to Hollywood. <laughs> Patrice had a great bit about worrying about babies climbing out of his uh, shower drain <laughs> from how many loves he shot in there. I think it would be like a musical, this movie there's, idea. There's got to be, like be some shit evolving kind of in, the pi- like in the pipes. There has to be something evolving. <laughs> We're just sending so much just DNA down all there. All this lard and... We're That's like true. butter we're like, and fat and jizz. We're like Prometheus in that movie where he fucking like dissolves himself in the river. <laughs> we're like doing that with cum. In a yeah, some complex. weird alchemy is happening in the sewers. Something mixing human material with all these drugs and uh, plastic and all our, all our waste and all that shit. Yeah, it's gonna create new materials down there. Yeah, that's great. It is. It is. I'm excited. I can't wait till Elon gets that rocket to go to another planet, so I can get on it with him and Grimes and have the party yeah. of the lifetime. Fucking terrible music. And... <laughs> you hate Grimes? really getting in? No, I don't. I, 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 you know what's fucked up is I, I didn't actually get into Grimes. Like, I, I didn't. You never... got into Grimes as soon as Elon got into Grimes. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I actually accidentally like I accidentally found out about Grimes. Like, never heard her music. I just like stumble upon like an interview with yeah. her and I was like oh she's an inter- interesting person I don't know what the-. and then I listened to her music and I was like this is not for me I like I assume this may be good but I don't but it's you so you gotta far see her live in those old South by Southwest you know episodes and shit like in 2014 when she's like making multiple moves on these electronic things devices it's fucking- yeah I like the beats I think you gotta you have to live really close to a 5G tower and just stand out there till you get dizzy, and that's when her music starts to make sense. <laughs> right when you're at, at the every point Grimes of... concert, they put a 5G tower in the, <laughs> on behind the stage. You get lightheaded, and you go, "Oh, this is good music." I talked to a dude <laughs> this about. This is good. I'm bleeding from my nose. <laughs> I really love this. <laughs> I, I, I talked to some cat recently who works on 5G towers. And he was telling me how like crazy he's got to climb way the fuck like three hundred fucking feet up in the air. Well, it's easy if you have if you've grown an extra arm. I'm sure. I was about to say yeah. <laughs> when you've got seven fingers, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, you just mutate, and that'll that job will be easier. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's how how you work on you uh, you turn into light <laughs> and then you enter the enter the tower. <laughs> I have started to think that way, though, because if you get in the mindset of trying to prevent toxins from getting in your body and you start learning about all the fucking pollutants in the air, in the water, 
electromagnetic pollutants and so forth, thermal pollution, noise pollution, all this stuff. And you try to think about your psyche. You know, I'm going to try to live apart. You can't. So you may as well just try to become some sort of mutant who uh, is the first to evolve right. to the new thing. No, I thought, yeah. I thought that, I, like, the th- at this point, with all the shit that we have, like, we're getting mutated all the time. Yeah. So it's just like, who can kind of deal with the, who can kind of live with the mutations the best is is what without blowing their brains out like oh i'm turning into a cyborg I can't right right fucking who machine. among us can get the most vaccines and still make eye contact <laughs> that's the ultimate that's the question, question. It's the, yeah it's like Have you yeah. guys gotten vaccined no dude i've never gotten a vaccine in my <laughs> dude no never dude, in your I, life not no. even as a kid no they pump me full of vaccines when i was a kid yeah, yeah so, same I, here. do whatever the fuck they want with me and thank god years. you wouldn't have wanted to have rubella after 12 years no, old. No, I wouldn't want to rebel. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. This is the only thing that, like, uh, there's no way the doctors or my parents could have known the kind of skanks that I was going to lay pipe inside of. Thank God they got me vaccinated for hepatitis. It's like, uh, that one I'll take. That one. Oh, nice. <laughs> that, one, that one was probably a good idea. <laughs> Like, when they give you a fucking shot for hepatitis when you're like 15 or something? Something like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's... Did you not get it? No. It's like memorable. That one hurts, dude. Like your like arm hurts for a while, dude. Oh, I still remember. Maybe it that. was that. I mean, was it in school? Like what they were doing? No, this? no. Your I think your parents had uh, uh, like do that separately. Oh, uh, I, I remember getting sick as like a motherfucker, and I was vomiting and oh, yeah. shitting like after they gave me the injection. For you know why? But it was for like the flu or the some syringe is full of diseased monkey kidneys, <laughs> and that's considered good medicine. I don't know. It's literally it's barbaric, really? and we think it's good. Yeah, well, I mean, They're like we we made a vaccine fuck. out of the fetus of a heroin addict, and we're gonna shoot that in the end. Just most uh, of them are crossed. monkey kidneys that they've injected these toxins into, and they think that that's a virus, and then yeah. they. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of ideas about what's good to do, but yeah, I think modern this medicine. Is full this of, feels like misinformation. I, feel I never know look when it up. Then look what Alan, look what, Alan I, spreads misinformation. I, I think I, Alan's so kind of he's right. shining How some you, truth on this because have you ever like donated <laughs> blood plasma or whatever? Uh, you yeah, guys? I think like one time. Dude, I've, life, I've donated plasma back in my hometown in, in Corpus, Christie, Texas. Oh, okay. And I and I remember uh, seeing a guy that I used to go to school with, and he was fucking like strung out on heroin, obviously. He was just mm-hmm. fucking on this, you know, bed, just like strung out on heroin, and they were still taking the blood out of him. And like, well, and I I they must telling have figured them, out Most of the people who donate plasma and whatever, you don't want that shit. I mean, yeah. maybe it gets you high. I don't know. My when blood Lewis was tells gold. Me, it had, you know, cannabis. There's so much THC in it. And right. I take care of myself. But like some other guy, could you just go in there, you know, strung out on heroin or fucking coked up and... Hey, give me the money. The, the, it's got, they had to have figured out. They had to have figured out some way to filter out their the drugs. I think now. No, I don't think so. I think now, or they, or they just don't give a fuck. I think I now they, give they go. They go based on image and like how many like scars you have. Like if you have open wounds on your arms or your hands, they'll be like, ah, they're like, how about you donate semen? <laughs> <laughs> how about you just let's donate. see that cock, buddy? You would shoot up <laughs> your cock too, because. <laughs> If so, I lift it up. <laughs> Let me see the bottom of it. <laughs> Let's Let's see make sure there's no, Come on. <laughs> no track marks coming out of your dick. Oh, you know. damn. Between yeah. the toes? I've heard stories of that. Between the toes, dude? All, dude, all over. Uh, fucking uh, the neck. The neck. <laughs> the neck. Dude, can you, dude my, I, yeah, no, I'm fucking known damn. fucking junkies, dude, that like shot up in their neck, but they would make other people do it and shit. It's like... <laughs> Hey, you want to kill me, maybe? Possibly? <laughs> you want to roll the dice here? <laughs> you want to take part in this I bet homicide? that's probably the best place to do it, huh? Go straight to the brain. <laughs> I mean, you're not taking... It's like, think about how often your heart pumps. It's not like it's that much closer than the... Your body's pretty fucking small when it comes to pumping blood to the heart or to the brain or whatever. Speaking yeah, but you feel of, it first where you injected it. I, I wouldn't know. I, I don't know. Who, who fucking knows? Well, uh, speaking of drug a, addicts, amateurs on the podcast, did, right? Did you guys see? <laughs> I was gonna. T- you're one of the. Of you're one of the least addicted people we've had. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, did you guys hear about that guy? Like, guy that was in a suitcase, found in a suitcase in Denver today. Nah, this, this was recently? like last week. Like, what was he doing in there? <laughs> what was he hiding in a suitcase? Oh, a little out. rascal. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing there, buddy? A little rascal. You know, just like out. four of his body parts are hanging out in that suitcase and his head and some more, you know, I don't know. But anyway, like they, it was a whole meth fucking 
extravaganza like no oh, <laughs> yeah, <extravaganza. dude. laughs> it was like the guy whose body was in a suitcase his girlfriend ended up ODing at the same place and the guy was like i gotta get rid of this guy's body so he hacked it up and put it in a suitcase and just dropped it off in the middle of the street what a Dude, bizarre plan. happens ever. Uh, dude, uh, Meth when I, is pretty right, crazy. Right before I left uh, Wyoming to come down here, a guy got busted. He like he had a, a body that he was trying to dissolve in a, like a Rubbermaid tub in a, <laughs> in a storage unit. That's so dark, dude. But uh, yeah, it's a fucking dark place, man. Yeah. That's, it's, <laughs> like, uh, These are the problems you run into when you don't eat the remains. Yeah. Hold I mean, on. No, I want to hear the take. The, let, let's hear this take. You're <laughs> gonna see it through. If you're gonna kill someone, have the have the the gumption, decency, the gumption, <laughs> <laughs> have the gumption to eat their body. Yeah, I heard that. Like now, at a certain yeah, the bones. Okay, the bones. Yeah, make yourself a nice wicker chair. <laughs> I heard mammals. Make a nice broth. If you, if you, if you, yeah, you grind them up. You know, people would you'd go to the farmer's market with your bone broth. Yeah. People will, hippies will love that shit. They'll be like, this is the best bone broth I've ever had in my life. You got to take the bones, you grind them up, fee fi fo fum. You're done. You, know? you, go. you got to do it like a ninja, though. You can't just like kill a person because their nerves will tense up and the fucking meat in their body will fucking get all hard and not edible. Just so like a deer. When you kill a deer, you got to kill it. But you're not eating heart. it. You're not eating it like, like as a meal. I'm just saying, you if you want to cannibalize humans. At, uh, you gotta like kill them when they're sleeping and shit, you know. <laughs> That's when the yeah. meat will taste. That's the best. a good point. Yeah, you could drug them. Yeah, there's different options. Yeah, you but just, that's like that's flex a really good point. before you yeah. kill them. Could you do that? Do you think? I don't know. Just sure. Dr- Let's <laughs> drug, drug them and just in a tub, you know. Just better yet, <laughs> uh, <laughs> put them in a really small cage and force feed them for about twelve years, <laughs> and then just cut out their liver. See this? <laughs> oh, this geez. I like. I this saw that in a cartel video not too long ago. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you think uh, pate <laughs> is good. But uh, I was talking to this guy yesterday who was, um, I think this is a story from Oklahoma. He said some kids he grew up with killed a homeless guy. Ooh. And I don't know if it was meth or what, oh, but shit. they killed a homeless guy and they all wanted to keep a piece of his body as a souvenir. And that's how they got Damn. caught. Because they all, like, some somebody kept an ankle. <laughs> I just, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt, but I just remembered it. It's fucking hilarious. It's a great fucking Norm MacDonald joke. He's like, uh, if you think that uh, if you think that guy in Ohio that was keeping uh, women in his basement was weird, you should he- hear what my uncle has in his basement. A fucking electric train set. <laughs> 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 sorry. Anyway, <God. laughs> it's just so fucking brilliant. Even harder to understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking that, weirdo. That's upsetting, dude. Dude, when I go to a, saying that at the when you go to a basement, it's just like full of like junk and shit. And you're like, all right, this is fun. This is you know, what basements are for. I've I cleaned wanna... the guy's carpet, and he had a whole bottom floor full of trains and like old cars. It was Fuck so weird. you. Fuck you. Well, so that's weird. autism, right? That's. I, I mean, with money, autism with money. That's what Neil Young does. <laughs> and Neil Young is autistic as fuck. Oh. He, you know what I'm talking about? Neil, Neil Young? Young? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the singer, right? Yeah, Sing yeah. Singer-songwriter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got all kind. Of, he, like, I think he bought it at a fucking model train company. He's a fucking, he's autistic I had no as fuck. Idea. Well, I autistic. think the new one. <laughs> really? <laughs> dude, he's like, yeah, he's like famously autistic, dude. Well, I, I don't think he knows it either. Like, <laughs> That's the like, best type. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's so oblivious to it. They're the like, unwitting, what fucking, I'm normal. The women are like, he doesn't even know how autistic he <laughs> is. Yeah, Bo Derek's fucking him now. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's like 100 years old and he's fucking a fucking ex model. And it, like, he's the most successful What's autistic Bo person. What does Bo Derek look like now? No, Elon Musk by not. far. Elon Musk then. I don't think he's, he's Zuckerberg, not autistic, bro. He's not <laughs> oh, really? No. All right. Well, I'm he's an armchair weird. yeah <laughs> psychologist, but let's watch a video of him afterwards, and you tell me he's not autistic. But you. <laughs> so the new the new model I'll train say that set. Confidence because he understands like humor and shit. He understands humor, <laughs> dude. He like sends it, he like tweets memes and shit. He's like a whole. He's got a whole like persona, dude. Like an online persona. Tweeting memes. No, you're right. People who tweet memes are definitely <laughs> not Fair point. <laughs> dude, I don't think Fair I've ever tweeted point. a meme in my life, dude. Have you yeah. all? But hold I've on. Before I forget this. I've shared a lot of memes. We were talking about the like model Facebook. train sets. Before I came over here, you sent me a picture of this woman who did a like diorama yeah, um, of the inauguration. Yeah. And oh, she had a little, little figurine of Joe Biden, Kamala, all the 
little kids they'd raped next to him or whatever. Like, <laughs> like the conspiracy memes. Like, I get it, right? But, like, you post them out there and everybody thinks you're a fucking whack job for fucking believing in anarchy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, 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 the fundamental the precept goal. is that maybe the people in power aren't telling the truth. And if you, if you have a hard time believing that, then you, first of all, you've never looked at yourself. You still believe the lies your parents told you, apparently. You probably still believe in the Santa. religion they taught you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when have they ever been honest? How is that? Like, and, and if you read any of the intellect that founded this country, they're all talking about the problems of power. Dude, no, yeah. hold on. This is my, this is my favorite thing. I have, uh, like, I'm, I'm like on TikTok. It's a fucking time waste for the most part. But there's like, this has been like the, this is what makes TikTok worth having. It's like beautiful. Is there is like a couple, there's like a couple of people. There was this chick that was like, uh, she's like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have like a series of videos. This is my whole thing. This is my whole like, whatever, uh, like gig is uh, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you guys about QAnon. I know that none of us want to be here. You know, they have to have like that. They're like, this is a stupid day, but we got to discuss it. Blah, blah, blah. So here it is. And they start laying out the thing, the, like QAnon. They're like, you know, there's a bunch of satanic people that are eating children or what, blah, blah, blah. And then the whole comment section is like, you know, the, the problem with the QAnon thing is that it's really anti-Semitic. And it's like, dude, you heard eating babies and you thought, they're talking about the Jews. They're trying to disguise it, but they're definitely talking about the Jews. Like, dude, none of us thought that it was the Jew. Like, I mean, a handful of people did. But Well, they do have those rabbis that eat the foreskin right off the baby. But, they don't uh, eat them. They spit them back yeah, out and they give them disgusting. to open window free to put into a face cream. All right. What well, do they wear them as? Like, they did with like them finger warmers? They wear them as finger warmers? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now that's what Cindy Lauper's like leggings were. In the oh, God. Just stretching. You, you know, they had to have. Yeah, like, maybe a horse foreskin. Yeah, it's got to be a They had to have Armenian immigrants stretch out the foreskins in order to make them and then dye them. They're real pliable. You have no idea, but they are. Have you ever even been to a dance class? Do you know? They're like nylons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the ages were fucked up. Well, yeah. Anyway. I think. I mean, in the old days, some people's parents would keep the foreskin. I don't know what if you <laughs> if you say if you tell the hospital uh, you deal with it, then God knows what they do with it. But some people used to keep them. You said you're circumcised, right? <laughs> yeah. From what I can tell, yeah. <laughs> Are you telling that, like somebody has like a bronzed foreskin in the house? They start to look like a piece of amber. If you ever see one. Like, Where have you fucking seen one? They get like petrified. Somebody had one. You I had think, a petrified. I think Harris <laughs> still has his. What? Harris? Alterman. Um, I'm not positive, but. Why the fuck would you keep. Families used to. I mean, I don't know that a lot of people did, but some people kept He's them. He's Jewish, though, or something? You said? Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe that's why. I don't well, know. I don't know what the, you know. <laughs> I don't the know what you The weirdest thing to well, me about like... circumcision is that it was simultaneously developed or evolved in different places around the world. Like it wasn't just one weird tribe of people that thought of doing it. It, it happened a bunch of places. Well, they probably got infections from the foreskin. Like, cause they, they did not get infections. What is it? Hasidic the Jews is the one like Ari Shafir. He was a Hasidic Jew, right? The men were too aggressive yeah, and they thought, like a, how a, are we going to, no, he was this? just Orthodox. Was he? Oh, I okay. think there's a difference between Orthodox and uh, his, his Hasids. Uh, we don't know because don't no know uh, Jewish people will come on our show, but, um, We've had a couple black Hebrew Israelites, but no Jews. Yeah, <laughs> a couple. I assume all black people are Hebrew Israelites because I'm not. Yeah, racist. one of them. I'm the opposite later. of racist. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. you're the God's chosen people. Oh, like uh, Muhammad Ali? Doesn't he believe in? Didn't he believe in that? I don't know. Well, he converted no, to Islam. Islam. I don't know what he was before. Oh, it's a different thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> black Hebrew insane. Israelite is a weird, weird yeah, little sect. <laughs> they think they're Canaanites or something. Oh. I don't know what they think. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure that you know. I, I don't know what Canaanite is, but you keep using the word, and I feel like you don't know what it Canaanite. is. Canaanite. It's an extinct Canaanable. It's extension. a race that, that Old Testament God said to kill. The Canaanites and the Amalekites, and they he was like, please genocide them. And we were like, all right, if you say so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Insist. Well, well, not you. The, the, and actually, no, we discussed this when Kevin Bennett was on. He described, I guess the Canaanites were involved in some sort of dark magic or pagan magic. Or uh, something. Yeah, ritual sacrifice or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Pagans. Yeah, people like right. to... 
the second you start giving women power, they will start sacrificing children. They that's their you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know why that is. Yeah, it we just, think the patriarchy is so bad. Yeah, at least only because pa- we yeah. it's just been a while. We forgot. Like this goddamn this goddamn patriarchy stopping me from killing babies. <laughs> what a <laughs> sorry. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Louis yeah. had a joke about, about maybe maybe politics. we switched to the patriarch because when women were in control they were just too mean they're just walking around snapping guys in the penis and <laughs> I think that's probably true. Yeah. flicking them yeah <laughs> oh that kind of hurt what are you gonna do about it <laughs> and that's why you need foreskin <laughs> protects you from a well that's that's why they started cutting it off is that yeah, they were like snaps have a little more punch to them what, that's the right. foreskin that's comes right. at the nut sack too we finally cracked the code <laughs> this is why we invented circumcision <laughs> yeah. so that women could more effectively snap penises <laughs> my mom said we're it's doing cleaner <laughs> we're doing she, the history she said the circumcision made it look cleaner there's no Did doubt there is mom. no doubt <laughs> That's because your mom your and mom, Maxim your mom Magazine. Is, your mom, your mom and Maxim are pushing uh, 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 like a certain male standard of beauty yeah. that is unattainable. Yeah, yeah. She I said, mean, they they do look better. I I understand the cosmetics of it. Like, there's nothing attractive. About you a prefer a, you prefer a, a, a yes a cut dick to it. Yeah, when I I'm, I'm in the right state of mind. <laughs> but we don't even know. <laughs> yes, I do. What do you mean? You had some and then you had it trimmed when you were five or six or something? <laughs> five or six. God, that'd be traumatic probably. Yeah, that is. There's you Africans think it's not that traumatic. Have it but... trimmed. Oh, I'm sure it was traumatic, at, but they say you don't have memories or whatever. I mean, I, I have to be really high on drugs dude, to feel like I'm remembering something from that early. Dude, I saw this traumatic video of an African guy in the middle of like a dirt field getting his dick circumcised at like the ripe old age of 19. Oh, God. And like the guy cut like in the middle. Oh. And just, it's like, oh, fuck. And everybody's just like laughing at him and shit. Can we look up, can we look up <laughs> circumcision videos? Can we find that, do you think? I'm we sure you could. can. Let's not. <laughs> You'll find right, the Jewish video one. Something. Sure. Yeah, I would literally Listen, rather have, watch beheading. We have, we have time to <laughs> literally what? Either find way, that, it's beheading, really. You'll find that way. Jewish guy sucking the tip of a baby. Show <laughs> me, yeah. I, I'd like to see <laughs> children being tossed that's into a mass grave. I do not want to see a dick getting mutilated. That's that's on YouTube. Nah, I don't want to watch beheading videos. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> what are you watching? Yeah, let's not. I just really, it's... <laughs> It's a little... It's early. It's early in the day. I mean, That's I've more s- of a one in the morning kind of thing. Yeah. I'm, kind uh, of, I'm kind of disappointed, though. Like, I used to be a big fan of bestgore.com. And, like, what was Disney. it? Best Gore. Oh, you, best it was like gore. the rotten.com of now. Oh, now. okay. I okay. never saw that. Show. <laughs> Who the fucking gnarly Dude, I, I remember being on rotten.com a lot when yeah. I was a kid. And I do not have memories of what I saw on rotten.com. Really? I, yeah, I, I swear have to God. vivid I do not. memories. I saw bestiality... Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's <laughs> child's play. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bestiality you saw, but I saw some pretty, like, holy shit. There, wasn't that, get that, guy that, got, that guy that got fucked to death? Yeah. Which I assume if you're trying to fuck a horse, that's like a suicidal type of thing. That's like... Yeah. Mr. That's Hands. a death wish, yeah. dude. You ever seen a guy fuck a chicken? That's amusing. No. <laughs> the, like, chicken, right, the, the chicken, the chicken, like... Yeah, probably. You're, <laughs> I mean, it's anal, I guess, but... Did uh, you see that same thing on rotten where there was a guy who got crushed by a boulder who was fucking a chicken you didn't see that no hold on let me look at this i don't up. know if that was that's real. a very specific niche. but it was on rotten god forbid if you have to see that to come because <laughs> those are hard to come by those videos they peeled it off and they just see this the chicken stuck on his i like crotch. uh i like uh gore incest bestiality crossover porn where two <laughs> twins are gang raping a Farm animal, and then they get crushed by a piano. <laughs> Our fucking uh, Google that's associated this with quite the a podcast bit, email is going to be a fucking man nightmare. crushed by dislodged rock. <laughs> I knew that was real. Block, get the fuck out of here. It was in Boulder, Colorado, and they say <laughs> there's no god. <laughs> okay. It's just an. Well, yeah, you got to click on that link there. Wait, it's where? An image, just right under the title. Yeah, I think I had just seen an image too. There was no video. Just like, yeah, look at this. It's a lot of action to convey in a still shot. <laughs> Fucking I a chicken. I feel like being a, killed by a boulder. You gotta be like a time oh, life photographer. Man. No, no, don't worry. It's just the internet sucks here. Huh. So it like tricks you and you're getting the virus. Sorry, work. dude. <laughs> <laughs> that could mean that too, dude. This is probably where the That's whole Old Testament comes from, is like 
a guy was fucking a chicken, a boulder fell <laughs> on him, and they See? were like, all right, I guess no more fucking hey, chicken. Hey, look at oh, that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. That's a chicken? Yeah, you can barely see it. Oh, you can see that his pants are down. <laughs> I hate this, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, oh, God. Maybe uh, the chicken had a snake bite and he was peeing he looks, on the trying he to looks, save the chicken. At least he life. died he doing what Spanish. he loved. He looks Spanish. <laughs> is he Spanish? Is he like Spaniard? You know that he is. Stop asking that. <laughs> Let's save He's that image. Related to me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> got a thumbnail for the episode here. We can. I think that's my uncle. That's my uncle Chewy. <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> Rodrigo, no. <laughs> what are you doing? That man? should be the <laughs> caption. You should save this picture. I did. <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> that's what a, dude. It's a, looks it's, like we just found our album art for it's this. A, episode. Yeah, it's a motherfucker finding thumbnails for this shit. <laughs> so when, when the when the episode presents, yeah, one, yeah take it. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the. Oh boy. The well, thumbnail. <laughs> R.I.P. to Rodrigo, I assume his name is. <laughs> yeah, he and broke. R.I.P. especially to that chicken, who I assume died. Like the the chicken doesn't look like it got crushed by the rock. But it, it looks like that he's not gonna let the chicken get away. Go, yeah. He's like, I'm dying, and you're gonna hang out. Yeah. You're gonna die with. Yeah, I'm not going alone. Like I'm not gonna let this chick. And really, he should have because then this. I gotta have something. Have I gotta have something to offer the ferryman to, to get to the other side. He must <laughs> <laughs> might as well be this chicken full of my cum. He must. <laughs> he must have studied the hell out of like the Rocky movie where he's like chasing the chicken. Yeah. yeah. Can you <laughs> he's like running up steps to like train. He's like I'm gonna, gonna it catch and shit. the chicken. You gotta hold the chicken. <laughs> what if What if the boulder did hit him in the back of the head right as he was coming? Yeah, I mean, that would be the best fucking orgasm. What if they were both in bliss? No, no before death? that's what I'm saying. Maybe these two uh, physical beings here are they were at the height of yeah. like karmic purity, and that is how you go out if you've if you've if you've really ascended. It's like a DMT right? trip. This is, this they're is like it. yogis. <laughs> these are two people exiting samsara. They're yeah, going like right. they're they're like going out pure bliss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe the maybe the guy was a uh, like is an ascended master, and the chicken is. The chicken's being punished because the worst way to go out is to be getting fucked by a dude. To this, be a, uh, I mean, re- that or turn to a chicken McNuggets for McDonald's. I mean, what what do you, would you rather go out as as a chicken? You know, it, I don't know no, which is worse for animals to be uh, <laughs> if you were, factory if you were, farmed and eaten or to be fucked. By, uh, if you were reincarnated as a chicken, would you want to be a, a fucked? Mate? <laughs> Be no, fucked and crushed by a boulder. It's like I was Let's fucked by a guy, C, but at least made I'm made into McNuggets. <laughs> C, on an organic, grass-fed faggot farm. Yeah, with a or, bunch of lesbians, <laughs> like, till it, like, oh, yeah, gross, that's gross. probably where that chicken came from, dude. Yeah, yeah a, I'd rather he's be He's a fucked. gluten-free chicken. Yeah, all right, so maybe, yeah, maybe they're both ascended masters, dude. The next, uh... Yeah, this is actually This the, is the Buddha. <laughs> This is the final chapter on Kundalini Yoga. <laughs> dude, like right on his spine. Like, oh, yeah, dude. Killed him perfectly. He couldn't have asked for a God. better death. because like, He does look, Damn, he does look peaceful. It could have crushed his face. You know how when the, the nurses come it. and the guys yeah. died in the hospital, they go, he looks peaceful. Yeah, he does look peaceful. <laughs> he does. He does because he fucking, he did the final, he did the final thing that you can do in the yeah. material universe, which is fuck a chicken. Like when you've been, when you've, he Lives committed so chicken fucker seppuku or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you say that? Like if his, whole, Kari. Kari, Kari, if his yeah. whole face was just like hamburger meat, like his family, Sudoku. his family, Sudoku. close, close <laughs> casket, right? They're not going to have it open, but they can. This have is open, open casket yeah, right for here. Sure. <laughs> They'll be able to look at him and be like, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> They're just going to have people we, listen, come to the boulder. Listen, we couldn't we can't get him out of here. We, we couldn't pry the chicken off of his dick. It's going to require so. a lot of, uh, Helicopter work, and we're not gonna. Spend I assume money. not a lot of people are showing up to this guy's funeral. You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? He's just gonna die right here. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna leave his body here. Just uh... we should be able to find a skeleton, like two skeletons, <laughs> <laughs> like a picture from 2019. <laughs> was he eating this chicken skeletons? before you got? No, he was fucking it. <laughs> and now imagine the creeper necrophiliac guy at the morgue finding this guy. There's a chicken in the bag with him. <laughs> yeah, like a jackpot. He's like, <laughs> cause of death. Dude, speaking of like necrophiliacs, did you hear about a story about a woman who got speaking impregnated? Speaking of necrophiliacs. Who got, she got impregnated by a guy who was dead. No. Come on. Dude, that's a, I found it on the news. What, break. does the dick still work for another 12 seconds after you die or something? I guess. I mean, you've seen the clerk, that Clerks movie, right? I mean, that's kind of. 
probably real, right? Well, no, you can totally, like, prop, wait. Like fresh after Well, I guess death, if the brain is dead, maybe on? the rest, I don't know. So where does the blood go? Because the blood's not pumping through the heart no more. So, like, what if you die with that a heart be, on? This can't be true. Okay, but, was the well, kid, like, seriously on... disabled? Like, I don't know, man. No, no, he was dead. This, what if he's, like, a genius? The chick that fucked the guy that got pregnant was really smoke show. She was a hot piece of ass. She was the embalmer. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> And she had done this to a lot of bodies, apparently. Like, they don't know how many, but apparently... And then she... one time she gets knocked up. Yeah. Wow. And that's how she gets caught. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Look that up, dude. I'm pretty sure that's a real story. This is shit that Ali Esther Crowley would be like, what did she do? <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. Look at the fucking Google results for women woman impregnated by stab wound, fish? woman impregnated by bone marrow, stab woman wound. impregnated by fish. What? Fish, that's incredible. Women impregnated at nursing facility. You're going to have to like look at all of these. After. Woman impregnated <laughs> while in vegetative state. Women are pigs. You can't even be in a vegetative state without getting dick in you. The stab fucking... wounds are really like. Oh, you've never met a half fish, you cis white male. You... <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just. Well, ah, this is. Fucking come on! Baby she was squid. accused of having sex with a fish. Oh, there's tons of women in Jap- uh, Japan that have sex with eels. They show them with their pussy and stuff. I, I disagree with you calling them people, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they got uh, some of the best technology, Corey. What are you talking about, man? Dude, yeah, but that doesn't make up for getting you got fucked. PlayStation, with eels, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking come on, Sony. You know, come on, something fishy. Oh God, who writes these articles? It's from the sun, that's why. Something fishy. That's a, a UK uh, blur. Uh, yeah, yeah. She was had an ovarian cyst, and her dumb, dumb shit parents were like, I think you're pregnant oh, with a fish. Like, false advertisement, you mother. No, but look up. You're basically saying a Filipino <laughs> family was retarded. That should be the... That should, she be, the, gets, uh, that should be the line. The, cor- the, coroner the, woman gets knocked up by a dead dude. That right, might be on. the better... I'm <laughs> <laughs> that was the original. Yeah, this one is insane. If this is true, <laughs> <laughs> they're just What's trying. What's going on? They're trying to troll you, bro. Google's learning your exact personality. <laughs> <laughs> Calamari. <laughs> yeah, giving birth to a dead man's baby. Fuck oh yeah! My God. It's <laughs> real, dude. She's like, I'm keeping it. <laughs> you see how big his dick is? <laughs> she gonna... goes on Maury and the father. <laughs> She's they probably pull gonna, out a fucking. She's probably gonna have some ancestral relationship with her own kid. Well, she looks yeah. like a corpse. Yeah, she looks. Look at her. No wonder you I, like the dead. Dude, I was yeah. kind of like, I was, I was like, please don't. She's be all hot. right. Please don't be. She's hot. all right. Like if she stopped doing meth for like a year. <laughs> Why would? All right. Uh, she Jennifer was supposed Burrows. to autopsy. <laughs> well, Jennifer hey, Burrows, you know, according, yeah, this is really a win-win situation. <laughs> I, by the way, who did, uh, who, she, talk about who, a victimless who crime. Was, yeah, to talk be, about a victim. To be honest, she's like a six. She's like a Colorado six, right? Like she's not that. She's bad. like a meth seven, but <laughs> oh no, no, yeah, no, she's not, not. No, she's not a Colorado six. She's, she's like a, a Midwest fucking six. four, dude. Okay, well, I love trashy looking women. I guess I do. She's too, a graveyard still. shift at Seven Eleven. I'm fucking twelve, yeah. but <laughs> listen, I'm trailer garbage, uh, and I, I love, I love me a trashy woman, but that's not a. That is not a trailer six, bud. Well, she that's just, a trailer five at best. I know my trailer women. Well, well you haven't seen got, her body, to be fair. Yeah, you haven't seen her snatch or her legs. <laughs> haven't seen her snatch. Wait till you see her snatch. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Wait till you see her. F- How full tight? of a dead man's cum. <laughs> he was a fifty-seven-year-old. Oh wait. Vet yes, in Texas. Veterinarian. Fatal car Texas. accident. Wow. He, all the evidence suggests he had never even met Mrs. Burroughs. That's what they're upset about. You guys didn't even know each other. He was, yeah. he was just a... How, how about a little bit of romance, dude? He died in a car accident. Well, look at this. Since the human remains are no longer living, technically legal in the state of Missouri. <laughs> oh, Missouri. What? How is Boy, that? Boy, they got to change the laws. It'd be great to watch the fucking, the fucking lady in the tramp... Uh, the She's lady like, in the I'm tramp, to Missouri. Like, uh, <laughs> montage between her and this dead body, <laughs> where she's like falling in love with this dead body. Wow. She's putting spaghetti in his drooling mouth, and she's <laughs> yeah. trying to suck Dude, the spaghetti so, up to kiss him. So now all the neck, <laughs> all the necros are just going to move to Missouri, just like all the potheads moved to Colorado and California. That's brilliant. Yeah. All the that's a gold rush for Missouri. <laughs> well, the ones that can afford it to travel, you know. 
They're going to have you the know, luxury of... The elite, elite necrophiliacs. <laughs> yeah, the necrophiliacs. elite necrophiliacs. <laughs> well, you know, recently Facebook purged all the necrophiliac accounts, and uh, it's really sad because they're having to go to Parler. No shit. What does that even mean? What? Parler? What does that even mean? Parler, it's oh, like a space. Oh, I don't know. They it's recently like a... canned a bunch of conservatives, so I imagine the necrophiliac online community is having an even harder time. No, 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 they're media. not. They're not because nobody's targeting them. Like, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be a, like, more, so a, like, a better use of our time? Instead of being like, eh, this sick fucking neocon, we gotta get him out of here. It's like, you know that, you know that there are necrophiliac, like, message boards. There's, like, necrophiliac Tumblr. Should really we not maybe go about, about those, go after those? But before that. I don't have a lot of moral feelings about this. Like, it's, I, it might be gross to see. I don't even know if I would be grossed at seeing it. I would be like, wow. I think it's brilliant. But it's, 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 it's like. It's not, like. When you talk about, like, child abuse or something, that's something you actually have a gut response where you're like, that's, you should not. You see somebody do that, you're like, you should not. If I saw this, I'd be Wait, like... Did you see somebody do child how abuse? Did, how would y'all feel you if see somebody... somebody mistreat a child, yeah, or an animal? <laughs> how would y'all feel if somebody did this to your corpse? I don't I care. wouldn't feel anything, yeah. I don't <laughs> exactly. give a shit at that's all. Exactly, that's how I not think, too. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I would not give a fuck. But oh, apparently... I got... It's like the reverse of the uh, Kinnison bit where he's on the floor. He's like, even when you die, you're still getting fucked up the ass. <laughs> this is like, even when you die, somebody's still trying to <laughs> steal your uh, load. Seeds. Yeah. I forget what that's called, but they're, <laughs> yeah. I would be, I'd be, I'd be Semen stoked if some chick want, like stole my load after I died. Wouldn't he be Yeah, like, that'd be yeah, great. That's a final. That's like a legend. This guy's a hero. Right? Yeah, he should be labeled a legend to yeah, this dude. community. What's his name, dude? I said yeah. her fucking name. I don't want to fucking... Let's fucking give a you congratulations. You think you're a player? This guy got laid post-mortem. Yeah, dude. You think, yeah. God damn it. They won't say his name, which is fucked up. Uh, he was a veteran, though, so you could narrow it down. Well-known <laughs> psychologist and expert in sexual disorders. Blah, blah, blah. Gerald Porter knows what's happening. Believes that the accused is clearly a compulsive necrophilia and that her choice of profession was inspired by her sexual deviation in the first place. Uh, I mean, this is what I'm saying. This is like Catholic priests or elementary school teachers. Oh, yeah. Same shit, right? But with dead people. You go there and you... Yeah, exactly. You Call go, me a hippie, but if you can get a corpse hard, go for it. You go, I mean, <laughs> but but unlike the you Catholic try, Church, first of all, this guy's old. This guy's fifty-seven. You right. try to get a fifty-seven-year-old man who's alive hard, and you can do it. You should. You deserve some sort of award. This guy's dead. You got him hard. Yeah, the necro- good for you. The necrophilia community definitely needs a community. I believed. You know, I, this sh- makes me believe in a soul. <laughs> they don't need a community. <laughs> they need a community. She's got to go somewhere. Like she can't. Get an out like the Catholic priest can, you know, they could just no, no, migrate actually, no, somewhere else. No, you're right. You're right, actually, because we could, could establish a community where people like us that don't give a fuck about our dead bodies could communicate with them and 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 like some people donate their bodies to science. Right. We could yeah. And we I think mean, that's yeah. we think that's noble. This guy donated a load to a hot young <laughs> not that <laughs> not hot. hot. <laughs> not still hot. kinda young. Yeah. <laughs> 26, She's so uh, whatever, you know, I, whatever. We haven't seen her tits or her vag, so we don't really know. She's Her def- her legal defense is like, <laughs> well, he <laughs> said he was an organ donor. Let's Google necrophiliac tits. And we'll see. <laughs> let's see if we can find this, this broad bust size. You know, in the necrophilia community, she is a 10. I think 100%. that's a necrophilia. Dude, look, her, her, like the side, uh, her side profile, good. not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. Bad. Her side profile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, if you got her the right makeup, you know what I'm saying? She could be pretty cute. Like a I like your optimism, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, I do. It's fucking... I, you, you see the beauty in... in... <laughs> You're like, you dirty bitch. You fuck some old dead guy. You oh, fucking dude. slut. You know? That's what I would be doing, you know? To her. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta put on, you gotta put on Tim Burton makeup for her to fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a corpse. She does kind of look like that actress in all the Tim Burton movies. She's got a yeah. Helena Bonham Carter. Yeah, eyes. yeah, yeah, yeah. The big For eyes. Sure. <laughs> For sure. That Dark Bonham circle. Carter chic. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was, look, that was wild. Look, it's a victimless crime. <laughs> it's impressive. That's what I'm saying. If I saw no, the kid it, is I would, a victim. If who is the she kid? Gonna keep the kid. Well, though? that's the big is, mystery. And, and I'm curious. She's a Missouri. She has I'm to. curious about the genetics of the kid. Like if oh, it yeah. was, the she's gover- fucking. Bro. Yeah, I didn't even realize that, dude. If she, dude, the, if even if she uh, tried to abort, the the governor of Missouri would stuff those remains back up inside her puss. Really? That's yeah. That's a law. In Whoa. Missouri. Yeah. 
Egypt. So, <laughs> so how did you and Daddy meet? Yeah. I remember. I remember the first I time wrote I wrote a saw stiff him dead cock when I was twenty six. <laughs> yeah. He had just been in a car accident. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We locked eyes. He was still warm. <laughs> I was attracted to his warmth. <laughs> I was attracted to how fresh he was. <laughs> we we locked eyes. He's got toothpicks on his eyes to keep him open. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just love at first sight. Well, you know how a lot of women want to turn off the lights. A lot of women want to get drunk. They don't really want to be present, so they're self-conscious. Yeah. That's why you fuck a dead guy, because you know he's not judging you. You think she was writing him? <laughs> Dude, no. Listen to me. That's the truest thing. What, what's <laughs> fucked up is that a lot of women, you could use that logic to talk them into necrophilia. You'd be like, dude, dude have you I ever? I get it. I get it. What are the odds little... she was having reverse cowgirl sex? <laughs> God's work, dude. Or straight up missionary sex? What do you think? A missionary? I don't no. think that's what it's called. Was she doing missionary, missionary. Or, or reverse cowgirl? What do you think? Was she looking away from the corpse or looking at the corpse? I doubt she, was she got closing him her off eyes. of the fucking table. She was closing her eyes, so it doesn't matter either way. But I would say she was sitting in my on mind. Him. She was closing in my her mind, eyes in your mind. Reverse cowgirl in my yeah. mind. Okay. Because that's, that's in my mind, the sexiest. Looking at the that is guy. the sexiest. <laughs> well, reverse cowgirl is the the most decent way you can fuck a corpse. <laughs> yeah. She's not looking at his eyes while she's doing it. I think, I think you probably want to look well, away. Well, here's the thing: I if you want to look in, if you want to look in the eyes of a corpse, you have to break a mirror and put the shards of a mirror into the, into his <laughs> eyes. Just, this is what you guys are not really analyzing as much as me. All right. Thank God. <laughs> Thank not, God only, on. not only getting a cadaver erect, but also finishing him. Yeah. Like you think about how long he takes to. Do you think he just shot to real quick? To let a corpse cream by you. I don't dude. know. That's a good question. What if she's like, come on already? Nah. Are you going to do this or what? I was like, I'm dead. No, dude. No, it might have been a Listen, quick blast. She, I, don't think, I don't think she thought. I think quick bust? I, think, I yeah. think when he busted, she was like, oh, this is a cherry on top of fucking a corpse. If that. You know, Maybe that was the first time it happened, and then she yeah, has a she kid, like, and she's like, oh, oh shit. What a gift. <laughs> I'd be, I'll be interested to see how she got the cock up. Exactly. The cock gets That's a rigor mortis. See. Rigor mortis. Dude, <laughs> maybe she had some weird devices or drugs or some shit. Like, yeah. you, really, to do she's this, got, maybe she's shooting steroids got, into the nutsack. Right she's got she one of those Bruce Lee machines. I think just rigor mortis. Don't, don't corpses get erections anyway, usually? <laughs> Is that true? She's okay. got, Let's she's find got out. A, she's got a TENS machine on the nutsack to get the dick elevated. <laughs> <laughs> So many questions. Yeah, dude. Do people get COVID twice? <laughs> How bad is COVID-21 compared to COVID-19? <laughs> Do people get erections when they get COVID? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was <laughs> Do you erections? Death erection. Death erection. <laughs> angel <laughs> lust. Oh, doggy. <laughs> also called angel, angel. lust. <laughs> <laughs> angel lust. It's angel wow. lust, Holmes. Bro, <laughs> this is the best thing we've ever searched. Angel lust. Technically a priapism, which is the same Real thing you zombie. get when you take Viagra. That's right. You've got to call the doctor. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Angel lust. Angel lust or terminal, terminal erection. erection. Okay, Dude, so maybe like like getting erection. a heart is, is not Death erection is the best name for a metal that's band like a metal that's band ever band been. For sure. Absolutely. Well, see, these are the things you don't understand. She doesn't have to get him hard, but still. That's what I was saying. I was, I'm right about it. I know a more about okay. fucking corpses. Angel lust could be like right. a, a gothic. It's not a contest. I think... <laughs> <laughs> Death by hanging, whether an Weekend. execution or a suicide, has been observed to affect the genitals of both men and women. Weaken at birth. Women, the labia, <laughs> the labia, yeah. <laughs> Uh, with the women the labia and clitoris may be coming gorgeous. Now, here you go. In Thailand, an excess of Viagra was thought to be cause of a death erection in a 64-year-old man. So that's a prime piece that's of meat old. for some girl like this. Guy dies right. of Viagra, shows up at her. Yeah. I don't know what the, I don't that know what makes the, sense. He might have had a dick pill while he was dead. I don't dead. know what the analog of... of uh, never mind. Uh, I've lost what, whatever thought I had. Uh yeah. Or you mean are you trying to reverse the genders? Like if a woman dies and a guy's trying to get her knocked up, <laughs> it's like you gotta yeah. gotta hold on well, for that, nine months, sweetheart. Yeah. Serious, man. I wonder you if she put her shot in an incubator. <laughs> Maybe he, she shot his veins up with like dick juice. You know the the dick pill. Okay, here's a question: If you're brain dead, could you still have a baby? Like a brain dead woman? Like uh, I think they do. Can. They yeah. do. Yeah. Terry that, Shivo. That's what yeah. it said. Terry Shivo could have the body. Absolutely, put a baby in Terry Shivo. Well, then yeah. why the hell are they pulling the plug? How many of her relatives wouldn't have wanted to <laughs> take care of a vegetable? Know. This is the wait. vegetables. <laughs> baby. I'm a problem solver. What can I say? 
no, I connect no, no, dots, no, no. dude. You're and you're you're right. It's like it's like, dude. She's not gonna have awareness of this pregnancy. Now you got a kid for this f- psycho to raise. And... You guys don't believe in abortion. Let's challenge your viewpoint a little bit. Wait, see if you really want to raise this kid. Let's see how consistent you are. Sorry, I'll just have to check time. Um. Well. This is one of the strangest fucking stories I've ever heard. <laughs> and the fact that it's called Angel Lust, where, what's the origin of that? Liver mortis? What? Angel Lust. I mean, it's got to be a Christian that came up with that name. It's such a what? sweet name for necrophilia. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like Angel Food Cake or it's something. Like, it's like... <laughs> angel Dust, almost. Angel Lust, yeah. Angel, angel Lust, yeah. It's almost like the drug. Angel Dust. Dude, if you were like, that's probably a drug on Cyberpunk 2077. Now dude. imagine <laughs> Angel Lust. Yeah. So, like, dude, if you try to Angel Lust, it like, <laughs> this guy ate another dude's face on Angel Lust. Yeah, imagine yeah. being partially conscious you and you corpse. wake up in the moratorium or whatever and there's some fucking nurse fucking you and you're like, it's bringing you back to life slightly and you're trying to decide if you want to come back you're or like, not. Comment, yeah, mm. you're cut, like your spirit. She's fucking the spirit back into your body. Is uh-huh. that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, That'd right. be great. Okay. And, then, and, the, and the voice in your head is like, if you come, you're definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. So you're, dude, like, uh, like, try not to bust so that you can remain in your body. Yeah, I wonder if he moaned. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, stop. No, spit up, up a little up. bit. <laughs> 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 yeah, I used to be a donor, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> not after reading this story. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> By the way, we should have more people. <laughs> we should have more, more fucking closed circuit televisions and, and kind of like, like cameras and mortars. I feel like, like <laughs> this this bitch had to. That's such a fascinating argument. If somebody asked you why you're not an organ donor, and you're like, "Would well, you read this fucking story about the?" <laughs> Do you, you know what a bit. death like, election holy is? Shit. <laughs> I shouldn't be an organ donor either. <laughs> I want to really... be an extra organ donor. Dude, that, that should get... be another like punch that you put on your driver's license where you're like, get not only, not only, it, listen, <laughs> that, that would be a deal I would write up with the state where it's like, listen, if you want to put my, my heart into, into a, a young child, uh, then also like if you, it's like a, like a, you know, give and take, you know, you're like, listen, if you want my heart or my kidneys you have to take my somebody, dick first. Somebody's got to take my load. Yeah. I need, I need whoever's whoever's first to the scene of the accident to immediately pull down my pants and start fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he wanted to be cremated? He said he wanted to be fucked <laughs> to completion. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> something about angel lust. I don't know. Yeah. He said he didn't care what you did after that. <laughs> Throw me in a river. As long as my load is in a mildly attractive, uh, Avril Missouri Levine native, looking, uh, Avril Levine looking, <laughs> uh, 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 God damn it! What are they called? Uh, meth head. <laughs> yeah, meth. No, I was looking <laughs> for uh, meth or something like coroner. That. Was yeah. what I was looking for, but whatever. Method. Mortician, whatever. <laughs> All right. Mortician. Well, this is a whole genre that I didn't even know. Exi- I mean, this you talk about. Yeah, this, this is, is metal. Yeah, this is a uh, death por- erection's fucking great, dude. Metal. I didn't know that was a, it's fucking a porn thing. category. I'm sure. I hope not. I'm pretty I, sure you uh, dig deep enough. God damn it, dude. You go on DuckDuckGo or something. <laughs> Wait, like what porn site is gonna have fucking? Hold on. Let me look it up. I didn't know you were. Uh, go for it. Yeah, dude. There's nothing. Eat a peach. Uh, I don't know how many years it's going to take, but maybe a hundred years from now, this episode will be considered very progressive. A hundred percent, dude. They're going to be like, these guys were pioneers. They were so far ahead of the curve. They were normalizing necrophilia for all of us. All right, I play a dinosaur game until this shit loads. I, I don't see it as bad as bad as like pedophilia. Obviously, yeah, honest. yeah. Or, uh, or rape. All right. Death erection hanging videos? Well, by the same logic where they say you can't get consent from a kid, you Jesus cannot Christ. get consent from a corpse. Like, the wife should have been like... Whoa. Yeah, we're definitely getting into this a shit. place. Oh, yeah. We don't want to be here, dude. <laughs> this is We fucked up. 
Dude, oh yeah, I forgot about. Yeah, we the... fucked up a lot. <laughs> this is not, none of this is good. Dude, yeah, this is this officially in, Rule Thirty Four. This territory. is how we end the podcast. In the, by in, the, <laughs> in the Asian community, hanging yourself is a big fucking thing in the Asian community, like in China and shit. They do not. A lot. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, what do you want to like, continue living when every time every time a Chinese person thinks about killing themselves, they get an erection because it's so appealing to you know in their society. <laughs> Yeah. So taboo too. I mean, every day you look outside the sweatshop at those suicide nets just taunting you. <laughs> going, do you think you the can't ants even do it? Do you think the ants get off on? They're, they're like watching ants are watching like suicide burn. They're like, I wish I had enough consciousness in my body to to be able to kill myself. That's do you understand? What I'm saying? There's some people that do it in front of their kids, dude, like little toddlers, and they're just mm-hmm. like. That's metal as fuck. <laughs> Although I've seen a woman kill her kid by hanging first and then kill herself, which I think is way Wait, more. Wait, you've seen that? Were, uh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Like in the news story? Or Best score, saw... dude. Used to be no, the... yeah, Rotten.com. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, the internet's ruining everything. Yeah, I'm so desensitized to death. Death erection fucking... hanging porn at <laughs> letmejerk.com. What a fucking horrifying... Looking to Thing jerk to, to some to, of the best yeah. death erection hanging porn out there on I, the internet today. I've never there wished was I was illiterate who more had than her, this uh, tits like roped up and like was like uh, tied like this, and, <laughs> and her throat was like caught to the yeah yeah, and that's how she killed herself. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> dude, she was caught like that, dude. Little monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what Norm Macdonald says: the orgasm is three over two times as good. When you're hanging yourself. <laughs> That's why they do it. I've never been into that. but the orgasm is 1.5 Have you guys dated women that are into that? Like choking and stuff or beating? Oh, you mean every woman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been with a like woman that. before? Not, not, not all of Welcome them. Welcome to 2021. <laughs> now all. Uh, it's like, well, uh, I mean. No, nah, some of them are more sadistic than others for sure. Well, that's masochism. <laughs> but yeah, no, dude. Mas- oh, yeah. I keep getting those words mixed up. Yeah. Um, yeah, one of them, um, yeah, I, uh, women are out of their minds. They're like, <laughs> this is bored. They're I like, think. can you get a, like, well, do it. It's like, once you're asking me to bring a cat of nine tails, you're like asking me like, I'm a, like an, I'm an Egyptian Pharaoh. Like, like what the <laughs> fuck are we doing here? Lady, you gotta fucking <laughs> figure out how to come. All right. It's, it's not that hard. Like, gotta, this is one of the weird inversions of. Uh, I would say feminism where like men right now are supposed to be responsible for all of women's perversions. Right. <laughs> like men are perverts and fucking women are perverts. Like, but we're you, supposed to be like, you know, why don't well, you be a feminist and beat the shit out of me while we fuck? It's like, yeah. all right, goddamn. <laughs> They're like, joke me, you fucking pussy. This, like stop a, being, stop, stop being toxic. <laughs> like a guy's fetish will, you can get you sued, canceled, you know, divorce, whatever, lose your kids because you got a goofy fetish. A woman's fetish is like, all right, well, that's interesting. That's about as much as you can say. Yeah, you're yeah. not allowed to be like, you fucking. Even the necrophiliac were like, well, you know, she Yeah, was, we, she, we she gave her trouble. a lot of. We gave her leeway. A, <laughs> a lot of leeway for fucking a corpse, sweetheart. <laughs> it turns out the patriarch is pretty understanding. <laughs> 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 Like, how far is too far, right? Like a backhand? Is that soft enough? Oh, dude, it's a, like you said, totally depends on the... <laughs> yeah, dude, they, they're, dude, they're out here fucking corpses, dude. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Women are fucking pigs, dude. They don't even... Yeah. that? Women are pigs, There's yeah. this yeah, joke. Absolutely. There was a joke. There was a guy and a girl in a bar. The guy asked the girl, like, hey, can I, can I get you off tonight? And she's like, the only guy that can get me off has to have a 12-incher. And he's like, all right. So he takes her back home and... Fucks her twice and hits her over the head. Oh no, something about it has to hurt too. He hits her over the head with a hammer. Dude, you can tap. Her. This is a great joke. No, listen, I, dude, I, I, I'm I, drunk, right? I, I, I fucking, I fucking surveyed so many women, like, because a, a, a friend of mine told. It wrong. Uh, so he fucks her twice with a six inch or hits her in the head with a what? A hammer, because she's like, I want to have sex with a twelve inch dick and I want it to hurt. That's where I fucked up. Oh. And he fucks her twice and hits her over the head with, with a hammer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've been drinking whiskey. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, w- they tell a similar joke in China. The guy fucks her 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> nice.